Hello, my name is Shai Barashi and I am the product manager for Element Quality Center. In this video, I will cover the main reasons for you to upgrade to the latest Element Quality Center releases and how to achieve that. These are the main reasons to upgrade. First is to take advantage of the new web interface. Second is to enhance quality control with the new graph types and strong analytics. Third is to enjoy the new integrations with your Agile ecosystem using MF Connect and the new plugins. And the last reason is supportability, with the end of committed support for the previous releases. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights from Element Quality Center latest releases. In version 15, we introduced the following features. The Web Runner, a purely web-based client to run the common Element Quality Center functionality with any browser on any operating system, the new and improved SSO solution for both SaaS and on-prem that works with any IDP and support a mixed mode of SSO and inter internal user management, the health report to help you analyze your project status, the reporting template to share a predefined dashboard across multiple projects to gain better visibility, the ability to send reports directly over mail, and a new integration with Autopass license server to help you organize and manage ALM licenses by providing better visibility and control over license consumption. In version 15.5, we've added the dashboard module to WebRunner. We also introduced two new graph types. First is the test execution planned versus actual graph to track the progress of your testing activities and make sure you converge on time. The second is the composite graph that combine and correlate data from up to three graphs for comparison and analytics. The new My Homepage module helps you highlight your open work items and most recent updates. The test run injection for LM Octane enables you to run tests in LM Quality Center and automatically inject test set and test runs to LM Octane. And we officially bottomized our core REST API package that was under technical preview and now it is fully supported and documented. In version 16, we've added the test plan module to WebRunner for managing the test plan tree and for creating and editing tests. We introduced a new web-based site administration, consolidating the, admi the administration capabilities of both site administration and SaaS add-on. The new cycle time graph shows how long defects remained in each status. This graph also enables you to drill down to the cycle time of each status in order to identify bottlenecks. We have added the My Dashboard tab to the My Homepage module to highlight your most relevant graphs. The Quality Insight utility incorporates global search and provides the new executive dashboard that lets you create and manage KPIs cards to measure how your team organization progresses towards goals. And with the new Teams integration, you can communicate with others by sharing information on a specific entity. In version 17, we have significantly enhanced WebRunner to include two more modules, releases and requirements. We also introduced a new workflow mechanism to customize the user actions and user interface in WebRunner. We have enhanced the new site administration to filter license usage report by projects and to show the number of connected users in each group. The new test execution tree map enables you to visualize the test execution results of your test sets. The new SSO configuration wizard enables you to set up SSO authentication by following step-by-step -step on screen guidance. The executive dashboard of KPIs is now supporting requirements and test instances. And the Swagger Power description format provides you more readable documentation for on-premises and SaaS site administration REST APIs. We also introduced course releases features. The LM Client Launcher, which is a Windows application to run the LM Desktop Client without dependency on Internet Explorer or ActiveX technology. Starting from version 4.0, it can be deployed via Windows Installer, 
making it easy for IT organizations to distribute it to all end-user environments. The LM dashboard for mobile application that enables you to view dashboards from your mobile devices without downloading the LM client. The quality of things enhancements that allows you to download test lab tree, including subfolders, and to display all step fields during test execution. The test management plugins for Jira and Azure DevOps that helps you establish visibility into the quality processes being managed in ALM and Quality Center, and the support for public cloud providers that enables you to deploy ALM and Quality Center on any public cloud such as Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. Now that we covered the main reasons and motivation for you to upgrade, let's see what is the best way to achieve that. You can take advantage of the recent improvements to the upgrade process, such as the LM robot, and do it yourself. You can get free advice from our upgrade experts to plan the upgrade. If you like to get external help, you can engage with our professional services group or contact one of our certified partners to get help with the upgrade. The last option, if you would like to reduce your maintenance costs, is to move to our SaaS offering and get upgraded during the routine maintenance and administrative process. In order to prepare for the upgrade, we recommend to check out our online help center. Under the Getting Started, you can find information about new features of each release. You can also find the support matrix with information about the system requirements. Under the admin help, you can find the installation and upgrade guides. It is also recommended to look at the best practice guide for upgrade tips. Under integrations, you can find the integration catalog to make sure all the integrating products are compatible with the ALM Quality Center version you are upgrading to. The following table lists the latest ALM versions that support direct upgrade from previous LM versions. If you are using an older version, you will need to make a stop on the way. For example, if you are using LM 12.2, you can upgrade directly to LM 15.5 and then to LM 17. And just to align on the support terminology, committed support means technical support, software updates, and defect support. Extended support means technical support and software updates only, with no defect support. All ALM and Quality Center releases for which committed support is ended are under extended support. For example, on August 31st, 2023, the committed support for release 15.0 will end, and no defect support will be provided anymore, just technical support and software updates only. Extended Support Plus is available for additional fee for Severity 1 defect support. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now have the motivation and information to move to the latest Adam and Quality Center releases.